Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. So let's talk about Trump's impeachment on yesterday, okay, on Wednesday. So the 13th, okay, all it needed to be was Friday the 13th. And that just would have went so well. But yesterday, the 13th of January 2021, okay, Trump was impeached for a second time, okay? A lot of people were against impeaching him the first time and the second time. Irregardless of him inciting an insurrection, they were against it. They wanted no parts of it. Now, a lot of people would think that they were just loyal to Trump and they were just having his back. They were against the impeachment because they were thinking about their own personal political gain. That's the only reason, okay, that they were against it. They know Trump is wrong. They know what Trump did. They know what he encouraged. They know what he's been doing for the whole four years. They were looking out for their political gain, okay? Some of them may be deterrent from it because of the fact that he put a hit out on the nation and they are afraid that he will come after them and their families because it's been said, okay? And it's a shame. It's sad that we have these congressmen who will not stand up to another man. Who wants a man like that? A woman don't even want a man like that in her house. No one wants a husband in their house that won't stand up for them. So why would you want someone in office, in a government office, who will turn his back on the country at the drop of a dime? I don't know who this political person's name is because they did not put it in there in the um, article that I was reading. But a senator said that they were under the, the tables and everything, hiding with their gas mask and everything. And another political person, a man, a male, said that he was going to vote for Trump to be impeached. But when that, when that riot hit and that insurrection hit, he changed his mind in fear that Trump would come after him and his family. Okay, you all may hear the fan. I cut the fan on, so you may hear a blowing. So, if they can't stand up for you, I hate that. What kind of husband is he? I know he called himself protecting his husband, but he took a sworn oath to protect our country. If you can't hold that oath, if somebody break into your house and try to kidnap your children and your wife, I would probably lean towards you giving them what they want so they won't hurt you or letting them take your family. You are willing to let this man take over the country and destroy our democracy for your safety when you took an oath. Now, I understand people, you know, will say, well, he's trying to protect his family, but he took an oath to uphold the Constitution and protect the country. That's not going to stop Trump from going after anybody. So you might as well do the right thing. At the end of the day, you should still do the right thing. Of course you want to protect your family. You don't want nobody to hurt your family, but you don't throw people to the wolves just to protect yourself is the point I'm trying to make. You know, yes, I'm going to protect my family. Yes, but when it comes to your job, your work, you took an oath. You were sworn in that you were protect and uphold the Constitution, and he did not. He cowered down, and I'm hearing so did a lot of others. You know? So I wanted to read this little um, snippet to you. But first, you know, I wanted to read this. So, insurrection. Hold on. I looked up riot, okay? Riot is a violent disturbance of the peace by a crowd. So they went up there and they caused they had a it was they caused a riot. I hear you know they went up there as an insurrection. He caused it, but they also disturbed the peace. They went up there, they broke windows. They hit the police officers with flagpoles. They killed one police officer by hitting him in the head with a fire extinguisher. They were chanting. They were causing a nuisance. They disturbed the peace, okay? That's what they did. That's what a riot is. And in... Now, hold on for one second. <laughs> my computer, my, lap, my tablet is slow this morning.
Okay, now insurrection is an act or instance of a rising in revolt, rebellion, or resistance against civil authority or an established government, okay? You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. At the end of the day, it's violence. At the end of the day, they are causing a uh, disturbance, okay? So they have caused an uprising. They have caused a, re a, a revolt. They wanted to go into the capital, take it over, seize it, and then destroy our democracy and throw us into a dictatorship. That's what they were wanting to do. They want to throw the country into, into a dictatorship like Adolf Hitler. Certain races and nationalities are able to do one thing and other ones are suppressed and mistreated. That's what the whole thing was about. That's what I said in my video, I think it was yesterday. That was the reason why they were there. So anyone who was there who did not understand what they were going for should have stayed home. Because if you are supporting these people, that's what you are for. And I hate to say it, but I've seen people that were brown there. And they went to throw our country into a dictatorship. That's what they went for, to throw our country into a dictatorship, okay? Also, I read an article where it said that when they were being held, they realized one woman said when she was being held in the office for, uh, hold on for one second, y'all. I don't want to cut y'all off. Well, hold on. I have to. Hold on for one second. Okay, guys, I found it. It says here that a Capitol staffer found that the office panic buttons had been torn out while she let hid from pro-Trump insurrectionists swarming the building during last week's siege. Sarah Groh, the chief of staff, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, of the Democratic representative said she joined other staffers taking refuge in the Congresswoman office as the protesters flooded in. Okay? She told the, the uh, Globe that the group barricaded the door with furniture and water jugs that had piled up during the pandemic before she left. Okay? And before, not before she left, before she put out a gas mask. But when she looked for a special panic button, she found they had been removed. All the panic buttons had been removed. Not just her office, but other offices. So that means that this was an inside job, like I had said before. Trump was not acting alone, okay? Someone other than Trump, we know he incited it, but someone other than Trump in the police departments, Republicans, in the Capitol, they were able to get in there and rip those panic buttons out before the insurrection took place, okay? Before it took place. This was planned for a while. This just didn't happen on January 6th. When Trump started saying it, they started planning. They started planning. This was a hostile takeover of our country, of our democracy, okay? So to take it lightly and to think is, you know, it ain't no big deal. And my brown people, you know, Trump did so much for me. That insurrection was geared towards you. Because it's a, it's a, a, they want to have dictatorship. They want to be able to control you and everything else around. They wanted to go back like it was before slavery ended. That's why they were there. And whoever was on Capitol grounds need to be punished, whether you participated in the violent act or not, because you should not have been there. You knew what it was about. If you did not understand it, you should not have went. You shouldn't have been there. But I'm guaranteeing that most people there knew what it was about. And you went, and you should be prosecuted. They should find every last one of them, and every one of you should, all should be going to prison. You try to take over the government, and you're still, and they're still making threats as we, as I'm speaking. They're making threats. 
They're calling the Capitol, leaving nasty messages on the voicemails. I heard one last night was sent to me. They said, you poked the bear. If you impeach him, you, I will get you, you B. You B-I-T-C-H. Then when they realized he was impeached, you impeached him. Oh, you poked the bear. It's on and popping now. They are still plant. They are wanting to take over. They are wanting to have everything go back to where people are suppressed. That's what it's all about. And I firmly believe that if Trump would have been allowed to stay in office without being impeached and run again in 2024, that he would have caused a purge. A purge is when, I don't know if you see the movie, but a purge is when you clean up things that you don't like. You are allowed to go through the city once a year. This is on the program, but I think Trump would have no problem putting that into existence where you go around and you kill your enemies. Anyone who you deem an enemy that you don't like, you are able to purge that day and kill them off without any repercussions. I don't see no problem with Trump doing that. I mean, I see a problem, but I don't think he sees a problem with doing that and with invoking that. If he was able to stay in office, because that's what he's about, take over. He takes over everything. Okay? He wants to run the world. He wants to have a one world ruler, which is him. He tries to tell other countries what to do. He's in everybody's business threatening people. This is what he does, and this is what they want because not so much that they love Trump. They need him to be able to have that permission to do it without getting in trouble. He told them that they would not have any be treated badly or have any repercussions if they was to do these things and they did it and now they're going to prison. They're facing up to 20 years in prison. Now he's on television saying they need to go to prison. See, he has no loyalty to anyone, but you still can't get people to open their, open their eyes because it's not so much about their loyalty. Their loyalty to Trump is about what they want, what they can gain from it. That's what it's about. Because even though he throws them under the bus, they're still insisting on destroying democracy. Charles Manson had a family that he took under his wing that followed him and did whatever he said do. But when, when Charles Manson went to prison, he never throw them under the bus. He still, they did the killings, which was true, but he still backed them as his family. Trump throw them under the bus. Y'all need to go to prison. Y'all broke the law. Y'all going to prison. Before he got impeached, when these people were charged, he could have stepped up and said, I'm a pardon them. He was the, pre he was the president. He had the power to pardon them. All he had to do is, is say it inside the papers. He's pardoning everybody else. Charles Manson still backed his family. He thought he was slick now. He thought, well, I'm not going to lay hands they'll go to prison. But when they started interviewing him, and, and I watched the interview, he didn't say, well, I uh, had nothing to do with it. He, 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 he told them to kill him, but he just kept saying, I didn't do the killing. But he still backed them. They were still loyal to him. These people are loyal to Trump because they want something. They want to be able to control they're not loyal in their hearts. They're only loyal in their acts. As soon as Trump, now that Trump has turned on them basically and say that you're going to prison, some of them probably have woken up. You know, I read an article where some people were saying that he throws us under the bus. They're disappointed in him. You know, but some of them are still wanting to blow up the Capitol and kill people. And that's because, and they have addresses. They're saying Google the, 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 the politicians address and, and just go to their house, bypass the Capitol. That's what I read. If somebody's inside leaking their, inf their information, and I read that they said just Google the addresses and don't go to the Capitol. Just go to whoever's house that we're supposed to kill. Just go to the houses. You know? So this is crazy. Um, it's getting out. It's out of hand. It's been out of hand for the last four years, but this is ridiculous. This man has incited an insurrection, a riot, it is awful, and people are going to die. You know, they don't want people going to the inauguration. They want you to stay home because it's just a mass, it's just a mass destruction 
hit across the across the country. And it's ridiculous because he lost because he wants to protect himself from his consequences that he rightfully so deserved. You know? So with that being said, I'm going to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So Phil Donke for watching me. And choose. That's what? That's buying German. <laughs>